I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your horoscope for the upcoming week, Virgo. Now, just last week on the 16th, there was a, a full moon in your sign. So don't be surprised as over this period you've been sort of letting go of things, okay? When the full moon is in your sign, it's like it signifies endings and beginnings. But of course, before you can have a beginning, you have to be prepared to let some things go out of your life, things that are perhaps reach their use by date or just no longer serve you in a positive manner or in any way. And as soon as you let go of things, you then make a void in your life for something new to come up. Now right opposite your sign in your area of relationships, um, Mercury this is going to move into this area on the 18th and shortly after the sun is going to move out. So right in the middle of this week they're going to have uh, the sun uh, Mercury and Neptune all in this area and so it's a great vibe for relationships um, on the 22nd Mercury which is a communication planet uh, is going to conjunct and you know join together with um, Neptune so this is a very creative area it's a very inspirational and inspiring uh, area of your chart so um, and it's also because it's in your seventh house it's a good time to really be open and honest with someone you can like gather your thoughts together and speak from, from the heart and you know when you're having a deep and meaningful with someone or you need to tell someone how you feel then this that's the best way to do it so this is a good week to to do that the sun is going to transit then into the next sign which is your solar eighth house so um, this is good for new beginnings of partnerships that are going to be financially viable so uh, keep your eye open for that and of course as always check in with your intuition okay have a great week Virgo I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching